Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Pell Rider Space Type. It's a suit that comes from the Missing Link and um, it was somewhat recently made available for ground use as well. So this is a match focusing on it being used in ground. At level 1, by the way, in the video, I used the level 3 version, which I have a little bit more on at the moment, because it didn't take the parts off. It is a ground and space capable general at 400 to 500? Yes. Uh, with a ballistic and beam resistance of 15, a melee resistance of 12, a range strength of 25, a melee strength of 15, a movement speed of very nice 130, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we have both me close and medium of 11 and long range of 6. In game, it has the choice between the Hyper Beam Rifle, a heat based energy weapon, the Hyper Bazooka, or if uh, you're a madman, the Bullpup Machine Gun. Uh, my suggestions are either the Hyper Bazooka or the Hyper Beam Rifle. Then we have the Beam Saber Times 2 because one was just not enough fun. We have Enhanced Head Mounted Vulcans. They're slightly better and hey, you know, they're kind of good for additive or chasing someone down. They're not the worst things on earth, but eh, they're Head Vulcans. And then we have the Arm Beam Gun. It's very similar to what the, um, the Jaeger. Uh, Gelgoog Jaeger has in terms of um, the little side gun. It fires, it's not got super good range, and it's heat based. It's nice for a little bit of extra oomph, or at least when you're backing off a target or chasing them down. Then we have the giant Gatling cannon. It's very similar to a Gundam unit that has this. It's pretty decent, though you have to be uh, stationary to fire. It has good range, it's really good for at annoying targets, and honestly, I use it more to harass raids than basically anything else. And of course, we have a large side uh, size slide shield. For skills, we have Emergency Evasion System Level 1, Melee Combo Controller Level 1, High Spec and Back Level 2, High Performance Radar, Hades Ability Boost, Forced Injector, and High Performance Balancers. It's a decent unit overall. Even though I'm not the, mo the biggest fan of the Pell Rider series. It does its job. It mixes things up. Even though I would say this suit does somewhat uh, prefer range. You can still mix it up in a fight though. So don't ever assume that you can't. It's a good, sturdy, more shooty based unit that has some flexibility in melee. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello everybody and welcome to the match. Hope you're having a fantastic time and looking forward to the weekend. Uh, you know, I'm just not a fan of the Pell Rider series. Endgame, they're Oh, the generals tend to be fairly well balanced. We um, the raids can be, <laughs> but uh, we won't get too far. But so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, early on try to do a little bit of poking with the minigun. We got a uh, a free Jaeger over there. He's gonna outshoot me, but I wanted to annoy him a little bit. We got oh, I haven't seen that raid in a little while. So we got a little bit of uh, action going on. The team's circling around, so I'm trying to hold position where I can to catch him with the melee, because he's going to go for the melee as soon as he can. And I'm just going to try to use this as my protection. He's going to out me in melee, but we're going to smack him at least there, and then we're going to do that. I'm trying to tie him up as much as I can. Do I know I was going to do uh, get outdone when it came to melee, but he did some decent damage. And we're going to help take down the uh, custom real quick and get knocked down. But we'll get back up again. They're never going to keep me down. Well, until I explode. Well, we're going to jump down here and uh, 
Well, we're going to help take out the raid. Not put any damage on the uh, support there. We're going to back up and uh, I see him. So I'm going to throw some shots his way. I was kind of hoping my guys would push him, but uh, no. <laughs> So we're going to move up, charge our thing, miss our shot, but use our uh, mobility to get behind cover. Because missiles to the base is bad. So we've had a bit of a rough beginning to the match, but we've at least helped our team take out a few uh, of their guys. And we haven't got overly aggressive yet. But we're getting there as we hit 300 odd health. We use our uh, beam since we're looking at a good chunk of uh, Xeonic mobile suits. We're going to try to push over here and, uh, well, we're going to get killed for it. Oh, first life. So we're going to spawn in at our home base since nobody's captured anything. And we're going to do a little bit of pushing forward. Um, I'm just going to try to take B. But I think I'm going to get jumped in the process, so we're going to have a moment of me forgetting what button to hit. Screwing up the uh, taking of the point, and then seeing our guy here, jumping in, and we're going to immediately get over here a little bit. Do our dodge, smack him with that, get him with another shot. We're going to use the uh, terrain to get knocked down on, because it's uneven and he's going to have a harder time getting us. And he's going to get taken out. So, teamwork is the dream work. So we're going to come down here and we're going to finally claim our good boy points. Yeah. Now that's the last. So a little bit of damage. We got him and we've uh, secured a spawn point. So we're going to do a little bit of poking with the minigun. I never treat it as something capable of seriously being any actual, well, killing. It's just really good at annoying people. I'm going to just keep badgering him. Since he was low, we'll go ahead and take him out. I know that raid's there and the support's over here, but I'm trusting the guy on my right, which, you know, it's a match. Oh, there he is. So let's go ahead and just start throwing some of that damage on him. Take a shot. Catch the uh, support in the leg, catch the support again. Sometimes chip damage is not a bad thing, so I'm trying to watch my uh, right. Um, I don't know why 4 is uh, all by himself over there, but we're going to keep using this spot because, well, honestly, our team's a little disorganized, so in this case, I'd just rather uh, do a little bit of picking at range. So we're going to take some shots there, we're going to get uh, pushed by the number 4, so we're going to go ahead and just knock him down for his trouble. Don't know why he wanted to pick a fight with me, but it was a bad idea. Now I got some guys on my side, so I'm going to use the shield, or what was left of it, to help protect me. Take out the custom, we're going to get pushed, so I'm going to come forward and I'm going to hit him, but we're going to get taken out for our second line. Oh wow. Well. So we're gonna spawn in at B, because uh, we were smart and picked one up. And we see our team swung over here. We watch the uh, the go do or the guff custom jump down to a dog. And we're gonna just drop a you know casual beam in his face. He loves it. Take the uh, support out with that minigun, and we're gonna use this to just help annihilate him at land. So it's two down real quick, nice. Just gotta figure out your positioning with some of these uh, these weapons and when to use it. So I decided to use a battle tech hop to look over there and then immediately disengage. We'll catch uh, the support with that shot. I'm going to assume that might have knocked him down. There's their uh, their raid. We're gonna swing over to the left to help back up our guys. Get a shot from uh, a guy who really isn't bothering me that much. Um, and we're going to get pushed by the, the custom who made a bad choice in trying to outshoot me at the moment. He's going to push. Um, he's going to try to come up behind him. He's going to fall down there. Their support is going to decide it's time to leave. We're going to shoot him in the leg. Take a shot over there. 
we're just gonna use some of our range. We haven't really used this armed spot gun much, so we're just gonna badger the, uh, the support. Well, they got two supports. Wow, interesting. We go ahead and use the rest of that, and I figured my team member here was going to push the, uh, the guff, but he doesn't. Goof, the guff, whichever way you want to say it. Oh, we see him there. We'll help take him out as he as grab Paul falls down. We're gonna get a hit in, but get knocked down. That's fine. Sometimes we're gonna take the hit, get the damage in, and knock down the uh, the target. Then uh, not. So we're gonna push him, take advantage that he has to stop to fire his dumb missiles. And uh, again, we're gonna back up, try to watch his spacing, get our hit in there. And that should get him pretty close. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And there he is. Goodbye, Mr. Raid. Mr. Stealth Raid. Secret Agent Raid. That sounds like a product. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, the match. We got our basic success pose. No board positions, but third place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.